Welcome to Ferro Training. Scene Workflow, View and Analyze. Mark Distance Range. First go to Tools, Options and then select the tab View. Set the field of the maximum distance to 10 meters. Press OK and open once again in the Planner View. Here you can see a corridor. Then select the icon Mark Range On Off in the toolbar and you will see all points within a distance of 10 meters are colored. So go back to the options to the tab view and set the maximum distance to 40 meters. And now the whole corridor is colored. Also, the scan in the quick view is colored. To uncolor your scan, just click again on the Mark Range On Off button in the toolbar. Now your scan is black and white again, also in the quick view. Now we want to perform the scan point distance. For that, open a scan in the planner view again. Then choose the rectangular selector from the toolbar and make a selection, for example of the server rack. Right click in the selections, choose create objects and plane. In the field plane name type in a name. Then click OK. Choose the rectangular selector from the toolbar again and make a selection for example of the wall. Then right click on your plane in the structure view and select View Scan Point Distance. You will see this colored field also in the Quick View. Colorize Scans Colorizing scans is nothing more than mapping the color pictures made by the camera inside the scanner to the 3D points measured by the laser. Right click on the Scans folder and select Load All Scans. Then right click again on the Scans folder, select Operations, Color Pictures and Apply Pictures. Right click on the folder scans, select View, 3D View. Now you will see all scan points of your scan project are colored. Three D view. To open a 3D view, right click on the scans folder in the structure view, select View and 3D view. Now the 3D view is open, but you are not able to see any scan points. This is because no scan is loaded. To load a scan, right click on a scan and select Loaded. Now the data of the first scan is loaded. This is also indicated by this little green rectangle in the structure view. If a scan is marked in the structure view, the scan will appear yellow in the 3D view. You can also save and manage viewpoints in the 3D view. For that, go on the icon Manage Viewpoints in the toolbar. Give your viewpoint a name and say OK. After that, a folder called Viewpoints appears in the structure view. Now you want to change the position. And save another viewpoint. Go again to the icon Manage Viewpoints in the toolbar. Give a name to this viewpoint and say OK. Now this viewpoint also appears in the structure view. To change between these viewpoints, go to the drop down menu and select one viewpoint and press the button Activate.
can also change between the viewpoints in the structure view. Right click on the viewpoint and say activate. To delete points in the 3D view, click on the polygon selector in the toolbar, make a selection of your scan points, right click in the selection and say delete outside selection. Now all points outside of your selection are deleted. Make a selection again, right click in the selection and say delete inside selection. Now we want to learn how to attach a grid to a surface, to a point and something about the display settings. Right click on a scan, choose View and 3D View. Then right click in the 3D View, choose Camera and Properties. Type in the field's positions the coordinates of your camera position. Then press OK. Now click on the Grid pop-up button in the toolbar. It's a small down arrow and choose Show Grid. The grid appears in the 3D view on the floor. Now we want to attach the grid to a surface. Open the 3D view of all scans. Click on the Grid pop-up button in the toolbar. and choose Attach to Surface. Then select three points in your scan like a triangle. Now the grid appears with the origin in the, in the mid of the picked triangle. Now we want to attach the grid to a point. Open again the 3D view of all scans. Click on the grid pop-up button in the toolbar. And choose Attach to point. Then select the point in your scan. Now the grid appears with the origin at the point you clicked in the scan. Now we want to change the grid properties. Click on Properties. Here you can change the colors of your axis. And you can say where the axis starts and ends and the resolution. Now you can see the axis is blue and black. You can decrease and increase the resolution. And we can change the style from regular to polar. Then you have to change it in decrease. If you have the style polar. Now we want to measure between scan points and between objects. But first we want to create new points. For that right click on the scan, select new and then point. Then type in the position of your new point. And name it. Let's do this again for a second. Type in the position. And again for third point. After creating the points you can see them in the structure view. Okay, now we want to create a plane. 
Right click on the scan, select New and Plane. Type in the normal and the position of your plane. And say OK. And now the plane is also in the structure view. Now we want to make a measurement in the quick view. Open the quick view. And then select Measure between scan points. Choose the points and end the measurement by double clicking. Now the measured object is in the structure view. Now we want to measure between objects. Click in the toolbar on the icon Measure between objects and choose the object. Now in the structure view you see the following measurements. Now we want to measure in the 3D view of a scan. Right click, save view and 3D view. Now click on the button measure between scan points and choose your points in the scan. Now a new measure object appears in the structure view. Right click on this object and then you can see the properties of your measured object.